In this video, we demonstrate how to do a proof by contraposition. So let's look at the following uh, example. For all real numbers x and y greater than 1, if x is not equal to y, then 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is not equal to 2y plus 1 over y minus 1. As a first step, as usual, I'd like you to write it out in symbols. So go ahead and do that, and uh, check my answer in a few moments. Here it is written in symbols. Notice that I got the information about x and y being greater than 1 by just putting that into the information about my universal set. Instead of taking the universal set to be the set of reals, I took it to be the set of real numbers greater than 1. So you're always free to do that if you wish. That can make the hypothesis a little bit um, easier to read. Okay, so it says, for all x and y greater than 1, if x is not y, then uh, 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is not 2y plus 1 over y minus 1. Now, if you were to do a direct proof of this, you would start by saying, let x and y be greater than 1, real numbers greater than 1. Suppose x is not equal to y, and then you would have to try to deduce this. So it's not as easy to work with um, things that are not equal to each other uh, than with things that are equal to each other. So it's more natural to use a proof by contraposition, in which our hypothesis would be that 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 2y plus 1 over y minus 1, and we would try to deduce that x is equal to y. So I think we're much better off doing proof by contraposition. Okay, so let's do some calculation to see how that should work. Uh, so we want to show that um, 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 equaling 2y plus 1 over y minus 1 should ultimately imply that x equals y. So what should we do with that? Well, I guess the natural thing to do is to cross multiply. Right, so I'm just cross multiplying those two expressions. And now open up the brackets. We get 2xy plus y minus 2x minus 1 equals 2xy plus x minus 2y minus 1. Now you'll notice the 2xy's cancel and the minus 1's cancel. And I guess we should combine the 2y terms on the one side and all of these x terms on the other side. And that gives us, um, on the left we get uh, 3y, and on the right we get 3x. And then if, by dividing by 3, you're going to get y equals x. So you've arrived at what you wanted, starting from here. Okay, so that should be the basis of a proof. We need to start from here, and I guess work downwards, so it's going in a positive direction. And uh, But when you write it up, you've got to use proper sentences, and you can only write things that you know to be true. Okay? So, you go ahead, see if you can use this to build your proof. Write up your proof in a very careful way, and um, come back in a few moments and you can compare your answer to mine. Okay, let's go over my proof. Let x and y be real numbers greater than 1, so that comes from here. We argue by contraposition, so I'm, I'm warning the reader that that's the method that I'm going to use. And so we suppose the negation of this. So suppose 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 2y plus 1 over y minus 1. And ultimately I have to deduce that x is equal to y. So what I do is I, I use sort of the important steps from here. I don't do everything in, in absolute detail, just what's needed. So I say then cross-multiplying gives this. After canceling common terms and collecting like terms, we obtain this. Division by 3 gives this. 
So at this point, you realize that I've started from this hypothesis, and I've arrived at this conclusion. I've deduced this conclusion. So that means I'm finished. Uh, in order to signal that I'm finished, uh, you can either put a little box or some little mark, or you can put something like QED, or here's another device that we sometimes use. We say something like that. This completes the proof.